Vindicator. The things they expect me. Accomplish. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Well, well. Progress, at last. Then your arrival is even more momentous than I'd believed. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect Gravdrive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but... Well, you have already seen the state he's in. Hmm. I suppose I should. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here... The Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. The first convert in generations. The only one to have heard from the Speaker since the disaster. Oh, I think they will listen. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the Speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. Yeah, if only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena, 
First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from... somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of Vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Just look around! I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited, there is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... I... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Everything we knew about Grav Drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end... <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not... I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. I have never considered luck a real factor in anything. Given the state Dozra is in now, I would hardly call this lucky. But I suppose it is better than the alternative. I left the project weeks before the disaster. And at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter, and they ran the experiment. And here we are. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. We haven't... Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from... somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments, and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical.
Well, look who is back. Change your mind? Then it is settled. Outsider, you will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. <laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. Never in his worst nightmares could I imagine Jinan Barun saw a future like this. You will be working with me. As seconds, it is our that duty to prepare for the duel. I and cannot wait to be rid of I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. But know that you are doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassment... Problem? Borhal has reached the boiling point. But still... Our sins must have been considerable for the great serpent to subject us to this. Do not let Amila break you down. Need me for something? This is it. Shall we begin our duties? Are you ready to discuss our roles? It is our duty to prepare for the duel by procuring weapons and preparing for any ceremonies, as well as ensuring a fair fight. Importantly, we are not expected to engage in any combat, unless, of course, we are staving off an ambush. In short, we are to guarantee that the duel proceeds without issue. Oh, they are deadly serious. Borhal would have not dared to challenge Amila if not. The Odlum family has held duels in the past. It is something of a family tradition. Yes, there was a duel between their two great-grandfathers, I believe. From what Borhal has told me, it began as a property dispute. Their uncle died in a duel after being challenged by their grandfather. He was accused of stealing family heirlooms. History, it seems, repeats itself. Yes, and it seems that the cycle will continue. Unless you are able to get the brothers to agree to a peaceful resolution. Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? Hmm... I will note your concern. 
but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. Before that, though, I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got put into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem, should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off. Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol, and stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. It does not matter. An apology is an apology, and I will not humiliate myself like that. You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. And now he wants to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. He is trying to kill me. Why should I be the one to apologize? Borhal likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well. But what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. Ah, oh, fine. But do try to be brief. I would prefer to be alone so that I may enjoy what could very well be my final moments alive. I do not know. Perhaps him challenging me to a duel has something to do with it. Do I have something to apologize for? Correct. You are my second, not my acquaintance. I do not wish to speak of these things with you. Just answer the damn questions, or I will make you answer. <sighs> Fine. Ask your questions again. Because I am furious! My own brother, I just... I cannot make sense of it! Who would challenge their own flesh and blood to a duel? Damn him! Damn him for putting me in this position! Damn him because I know even if I were to apologize, ending this duel before it starts, I will always see someone who would rather me dead when I look at his face! I had a wife once. I'm not going to flatter myself and pretend that I was a good husband, but I loved her. And she loved me. Appreciated me. Faults and all, I, I never felt like I had to prove anything to her. When I say to you, 
that she was my world, my everything. <laughs> I am serious. She was. She was perfect. And somehow, she loved something like me. It was like living in a dream every day. Nearly a decade ago, she and I shared a perfect night. In what I had believed would be a lifetime of perfect nights. But when I kissed her cheek in the morning, my lips froze. She was cold. Stone cold. After my beloved's death, I made one bad decision after another. To Borhal's credit, he was almost always there for me. He even paid for the funeral expenses. But he could not stop me from taking to the bottle, no matter how hard he tried. Eventually, he gave up on me. <laughs> My own brother. His love and understanding has been replaced with scolding. I am truly alone. I suppose, but please, I am not looking for pity. Thank you, but no amount of condolences will bring her back. Look at me. Really look at me. Do I appear to be someone that has much to live for? If I die, I die. Nothing to be scared of. Except giving Borhal the satisfaction of taking my life. I suppose the thought has crossed my mind. Maybe it would be better to be dead. I could be with my wife. Well, if the Great Serpent would let me be with her, we were never the most devout in Dasra. I am not sure that I want to die, but there really is not much to live for, is there? But I am not just going to let Borhal end me. I cannot give him that satisfaction. As in, am I physically capable? Uh, perhaps, if the Great Serpent wills it. Am I mentally capable? I believe so. I have never felt this fury within me before. I have made my choice. If I am to die, so be it, but I am no coward. Can I get you? Some cosa to... This is what I have.
never a time when I was old enough to be allowed to drink alcohol here. Hello, excellent to see you. I suppose you may have a moment of my time. I will never tire of hearing you voice your feelings. May the serpent guard you. I've not seen my sister in days. Great serpent. I pray nothing has happened to her. This bar is the only thing keeping many people sane. Some cosa to lift your spirits? We lost a lot of good people to the Vortex. Bar seems much emptier. Quieter. What is it? I need to prepare. I will do no such thing, and will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant dishonors. <sighs> I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around, but instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him! I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. Not at all. I have served my time in the military. Amila's condition made him unfit for service. He may put up a good fight, but I will surely be the victor. Do you think I wanted this to happen? I tried to stop this downward spiral countless times. It was like saving someone from drowning only for them to leap back into the ocean. Amila refuses to be helped, and he is determined to take me and the family name down with him. There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is... inconceivable. It would be, if Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. No, you are not my second. I do not see how this is pertinent to your duties. Show a modicum of respect and answer the questions. Yes. My apologies, you are right. 
Forgive my ignorance. I, I will answer any questions you have for me. I do not hate him. I do not love him either. And I can no longer tolerate him. I am sure Amila will spin a tale about his hard life. But the truth is that he has always been a miscreant and a troublemaker. But when father moved to strike him, who dove in front of the blows? When mother would not feed him, who sacrificed their food? It was me. It was always me. How does he repay me? He steals my valuables, slanders my name, and brings dishonor on the family. Any affection I had for my brother is long dead. The Koza ruined him. Once he began living at the bottom of a bottle, Everything changed. I am just exhausted by him. It is exhausting to constantly be blamed by him for all of his problems, while always being expected to forgive and help him when he demands. An alcohol made from groat milk. Amila is absolutely dependent on and his wife was too. The damn stuff rots your brain, I swear. He has always been a troublemaker, but once the Koza took over, he went from bad to worse. Now he is just an addict and a thief. I will be putting him out of his misery. We were never the closest of brothers as our personalities are just so different. But we were close enough. <laughs> he was a free spirit, which irked my parents. Honestly, I respected him a lot. He was unbreakable, even though the world was not always kind to him. He was funny, kind, and he always was trying to cheer me up, even if I had nothing to be sad about. <sighs> the Emila you know now is not my brother. My brother may as well have died years ago. The Amila walking around today is nothing like what he used to be. Grot shit! I was by his side for years afterwards supporting him. I was saddened by her passing. And I cannot imagine what Amila went through during that time. But how many years am I expected to take care of him? To smack the bottles from his hand? To pay the bail when he was caught stealing? I have done more for him in ten years than he has ever done for me in our lifetimes. I have done everything, and he has left me with nothing. He comes begging for money, so I gave it to him. Then he comes begging for my items to pawn, so I sacrifice them. And then he comes screaming to me that I hate him, that I have done nothing to help him. All of this for a decade now. I would lay by his side every night praying that he would not choke on his own vomit. But in the mornings, when I would throw away his bottles of Goza, he would fight me like a monster. I used to take such pride in giving to the community, and in using my privileged position to help the less fortunate in the city. But I can no longer do that, as Amila has taken nearly every cent from me. I have sacrificed my entire purpose for living in the hopes that Amila would get better. And he never does. No, Great Serpent, no. I will take no pleasure in his death. However, I may admittedly feel relief. I will mourn the loss of my brother. 
the brother he used to be, at least. And I will pray that his restless soul finds comfort with the Great Serpent. Right. I take no pleasure in this. But after today, what he did, he needs to be dealt with. If that is all, you may take your leave. Much to do. How did you fare? Hmm. While disappointing, I am not surprised. Those brothers are stubborn as groats. But you may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelist will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. Borhal and Amila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. This duel is idiotic, we both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis where there is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. You are placing both of their lives into our hands. This responsibility is not fair. What is unfair about saving two lives? I... Theoretically, this should be safe. That would be tantamount to murder. Tradition decrees that the second of the challenged prepares the ceremonial drinks. I, as the challenger's second, will lead the duelist in a final prayer. We must follow tradition closely so as to not arouse suspicion. If Borhol is wary of us, he will remove us as second and simply hire others, and the bloodshed will move forward unchallenged. Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the Great Serpent aid us. Is everything ready? Then it is time to begin the duel. Yes, finally. I am ready to do what must be done. The time has come. Amila, are you sufficiently prepared? I am ready. It is time. <sighs> Nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best. Credit for your thoughts. May the serpent guard you. To your health, brother. And may the great.
great serpent have mercy on your soul, Amira. done to me, Amira. I am affected as well, dear brother. I, I did not do this. I can hardly see you in front of me. Uh, what the hell is this? What did you do? What is this? Uh, sabotage! This duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together, not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me, and then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. The Great Serpent. You did it. The Tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. What? From the Tranquilizer? They will sleep a few days and be fine. I expect. They may suffer a bit, but it is a far better alternative to being stabbed to death. Nonsense. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down, they are both relieved. Come what may, we have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that they will come. I have faith that the Great Serpent will open their hearts to each other. He will show them that the pain from the Tranquilizer would be dwarfed by humiliation and guilt, had the duel ended in bloodshed. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always.
what do you want? <sighs> How did we end up here? Good day. Well, that is some ship you have there. It has been too long since I've tinkered with a ship from the settled systems. Well, I uh, <laughs> had a privileged upbringing that allowed me to hone my skills on all sorts of different ships. So, if you need anything for your ship, just let me know. Your ship seems fine to me. You have great taste in ships, my friend. Take a look! Oh, I am dying to work on your ship, friend. Hmm. <laughs> About that. My father was a technician far outside of Dasara. Growing up, I would help him repair or strip all of the ships that were being delivered to him. Delivered by zealots. The ships were incredible. Deimos, Stroud, Eklund, even Hope Tech. It was so exciting to work on them, but now I just feel dirty. Knowing where those ships came from, what had to be done to acquire them. When I grew older, I came to my senses, grew a conscience, and abandoned my father. And I think the great serpent that I managed to avoid that life. Oh, no. Not in Dazra, at least. From time to time, our connections are able to deliver an outsider ship. They are very rare, though, and the times I get to work on one are very few and far between. Thank you. It is moments like these that I know I made the right choice. I have taken good care of them. How may I help? Happy to help!
Our sins really so great that we deserved this. Yes? Mm. A shame that there is not more to discuss. Move on.
Tidal wave.
We have resorted to theft now, I see. Catastrophic damage.
House Baroon has always done its best to make use of the geography. Captain. 